Okay. So, I can't really afford to, to waste time on this particular part because um, the next hack requires some time to actually do in order to, to resync and stuff. So, this is an interesting level. I have to give Scorpion props for doing it. And I'm doing it the way that he did it because it's very interesting. Now, firstly, I'll draw your attention to this room. It certainly is a room, it's full of blocks. Interesting blocks. And there's a, a gray piece switch up here. That really has no purpose than to be a uh, a gray piece switch. And um, we're not gonna take it with us because it's not important right now. What is important is is the puzzle that this that this tower gives you. Basically, there's no enemies, so there's really no danger of dying. This yellow pipe takes you back to the room before. This one takes you to a new room. Clear so far? Good. So this gives us Fire Flower, which is really useless and not important right now. So this is gonna take us back to... This is gonna take us back to the room we were just in. So now you have to go down there and take the yellow path, the yellow pipe. And then we're gonna have to actually... And then I'll, I'll show you the solution to this puzzle, because I can't really afford to waste time here. This block... Well, it's one of these blocks. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one contains a leaf. Or, a. Uh, orb of a thing, and it lets you do the spinny attack, which is really nice, and something you really need, because if you notice, two rooms from here, there's a little section, there's a little uh, place that's sectioned off from the rest of the, uh, of, of the level, and I screwed up the momentum for this, so I have to do this like this, which has a, uh, a little sectioned off bit of block right there, smash it open, smash it, smash it, and up here, there's coins, but more importantly, a purple piece switch. Something we're really gonna need for the next bit. Cause now we have to go back to the first room with all the yellow with the, all the yellow blocks and then grab stuff. So we're gonna do that carefully, because I scripted the momentum here too, and we're gonna go back down there. Now I could just grab another leaf, but I'm not going to. So instead we're gonna set that right there. We're gonna go over here and grab this this great piece switch. Now that we've grabbed it, we're gonna use this. Cool. Now, if you get down here, you're just gonna reset. I think I screwed myself up there, but I didn't. So we're gonna use this great piece switch, and we're gonna hit this. I think this is gonna go here by another reset pipe. Yeah. So, we're gonna go down here, and then magic happens. So there's a switch right here. We're gonna hit it. Jump on it at the very least. And a cutscene happens. I forget when, uh... I forget when, uh... When we ran into a, uh, a, a Navi. But, but we did. So, I assume... That we're in some sort of alternate... Dimension now... That isn't the, twi that isn't the Twilight Realm. And, um... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dimensions. Yes. Hmm. You'd think that he actually would have at least a nice internal database of things, considering he is part machine. So he should just be able to just look it up and stuff. Also, luxury. That's not how that's spelled. You can't really easily ditch the fairy, because the fairy can fly. Presumably, it can fly faster than you can run. Presumably, it can fly faster than you can fly. Because it's smaller. And thus, actually uses probably uses less energy to actually fly. But then again, there's a whole thing about relative to mass stuff that we just don't. It's a complicated process. But yeah, someone else here in this dimension of blackness, because of reasons. It's a dude in a brown robe with a scepter. That actually looks really nice. Looks kind of onky. Because the top bit looks kind of like a like an onk and stuff. Intimidating, menacing. That works. He's a thing. He's a robotic thing. He's a robotic scorpion thing. He's an alien. An alien. Uh huh. Okay. 
actually come to think of it, he does kind of give off a, uh, a merchant vibe. I would, in fact, in his shoes, probably ask Scorpion what he was buying, stranger. It's gonna be fair. Alright. Also, your text color didn't change. That's, um, yeah. Okay. Alright. There we go. Now the color's back. Had a bit of mistaken identity there. Uh huh. Eh. I played Dengen Rumpa. I know how despair can go. Yes. Okay, for a second there, I thought we were going to, uh, do this thing with the whole slow words. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. You'll note that I don't have really have much to say to this, because I actually don't have much to say about this. A corrupt factory, as opposed to a pure factory? Steamy Fortress, that actually kind of makes sense. Trouble Tower. I think I was just there. Actually, no, I wasn't. Because I think now I just spoiled the fact accidentally that I recorded Hunter's part for this one. Oops! Well, it doesn't matter. I'll keep... I'll, I'll, I'll just edit this in the order it's supposed to go in. So, um... Spoilers! I reached Trouble Tower. I will actually go into it. I do have to say that I do like this guy. He's cool. And stuff. I would indeed buy a lot of things from him at a high price. Okay. What is it? Energy up? He's gonna give us an E can, isn't he? Okay. Okay. Ooh, the text shifted. I'm assuming this is the way to the factory. If it isn't, oops. No, this seems like the way to the factory. There's the factory over there. Molten Rocky Isles. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. It's a, it's a good name. I actually kind of like this, 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 this map here. It's a really nice map. The lava is very watery. And for a second there, I thought it was static, but now that I'm like leaning in, my face is inches from the screen. I can see it's not actually static at all. It's almost hypnotizing in a way. But I do like the rocks. The rocks littering the the the, the, the actual landmass is kind of cool. And that fortress is very foreboding, and the factory very much so. But that's for another time. As in, whenever we get to there, which will be whenever, I guess. You know, there's a lot I take into consideration when it comes to how I feel about a level. Um, music is, is a thing, is, is one of the big things. Um, graphics, I don't really care much about graphics, as long as it doesn't glitch up and become a horrible mess. Um, level design is obviously the top thing. And then the, uh, the second most important thing is... Um, enemy placement because because the right placement the, the right placement determines the difference between a, a a a good level and um one that's full of uh I believe the term is bullshit and uh when it comes to this uh there, there there's quite a bit of of bullshit thanks to the uh Thanks to the, the, the stupid, small, mini enemies in this cramped, enclosed space. Thankfully, I'm not dealing with them much at this particular part. 
because the level's almost over anyway. It's just a matter of getting the flower and then and then just leaving. But um yeah. It's 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 pretty bad, um, design wise. Um thankfully, then the level's right here. So so there's that, I guess. Not really much to say. I'd probably go so far to say that that's one of the worst levels in the uh, entire D4C. But anyway, we're gonna move on to something happier. With a lot of holes in it. And I only have the one heart point. So let's not dwell on the bad things. Let's see if there's good stuff going further in. Might be hard points up here, maybe. Oh, probably down here then. Oh, there's one. I'm guessing bottomless platforms. Yes, it is. Spiny. Can't go through that. Can't go through there either. So I guess go down here. Yep. Really jumping. More of these stupid blocks. Uh, the grounds. Probably have to do something up there. Hello. Let's spin jump and kill you. I don't want you coming back, because I'm going to be coming back around here, and it's probably going to be in a rush. That was a horrible miss. There we go. Let's see if I can do this right. Nope. There we go. There we go. Just, just a bit tricky, but it's fine. Hit that. Kick you away. Now it's going to be this on the way back. Fair enough. And now that I'm up here... That this, th these will be gone. Go up here, click that springboard. Don't jump on the springboard. Just collect the damn thing. Make sure there's no bombs that are going to drop a bomb on me. And we continue on this way. Uh, these are just regular bills. I need to go back around. Let's go back around. And then I think I need to hit the switch down here. Yep. And then... Let's jump. Oh. Go again with that stupid thing I was talking about earlier with the damn ledges. Hit that, make our way this way, over here, right. Just wait that, just, come on, just, there we go. Let's collect those and move on. Hello. Alright, that worked out really well. Nothing up there. Just smack you with the shell, spin jump. Fair enough. Platform. Halfway point. Ow. That's fine. That, however, not so fine. I need to pay attention as to where my jumps are going. So that doesn't happen. Thank you. Now, this platform. Let's jump over to this one over here. Slide down. Right. That worked very well. That jump was a bit tricky, but I managed to get it done. I just barely hit your hitbox. Oh well. Sometimes these things happen. Anyway. I'm going to wanna... I guess there's... Yeah, there's no, probably no down, so I'm gonna have to go over here. It's gonna be a hard point one of these. Alright. Then that would hit. It did hit. I'm gonna grab your shell now. Let's keep going this way. And... What is this? A, what is this? This is a... On-off switch. Right. So it's a regular on-off switch, which is just fine for me. Let's say click this again. I'm trying to lose it. Figure out how this is gonna go. I'm gonna go through down here and then hit that and then hit that again. I'm gonna have to do this twice. Hello, don't explode on me. Let's go down here. And it's probably blocking the way. There's probably one blocking the way. Yeah, I was right. It's one blocking the way. So that's so have to hit this. Just hit that there. Can I go up here for anything in particular? Slide down. Keep your hard point in one of these. Maybe not, just coins. Right. But either way, the way is open now, so I can go ahead and just go through. Where's the platform here? There we go. Because I had no idea where it was. Slide down, kill you. Get rid of you. And just watch it with the slopes. Watch it with these two. These things can screw up the jump real good. Slide. Big jump. Did not make it. 
didn't make it because I hesitated near the ends. And that's not a fun thing you want to do is hesitate. Damn it. Is that the whole thing again where I jump off the ledge a bit too early? It's not up here. Slide down. Is that enough? That was just enough. Time that just right. Hello. That's fine, we made it. Oh, I'm not gonna make that. Nope, because I used up the second jump. Alright, nope, it's fine, we're good. Slide down. Thought I'd be able to make that second jump. Thought I'd be able to make that spiny, but I guess not. Up, oh, and because I timed that jump horribly, I really wish this jump button could be assigned to a second thing. But it's fine. It's fine, I suppose. And now, it's just a matter of what's next. What's next is a mountain, fair enough. Okay, what am I doing this here? I'm dealing with foreground fog, There's lava that'll kill you, fireball, mountains in the background. Alright, this is interesting at least. You make your way up. I'm assuming touching the lava is instant death. Break you. Don't let you bother trying to get that. Grab your shell. Let's try to do this right. Fair enough. Cure would kill, kill you and then just completely fudge that up. There we go. That works. That's hard point. Continue onward to this side. Uh, slide. Slide. Always slide. Right, so I have to, be very, have to be very precise when it comes to this. There we go. Slide down again. Uh, I'm assuming that touching the lava from the side kills you. So we have to do this very carefully. Ow. Whoa, that was a bit of a slowdown for a second there. Now, how am I going to do this right? Just through the spores, like that. That can work. I slide down. You. I'm gonna be really careful about how I approach this bit. Ah, right. Those things. Spin jump. Doesn't kill you, but that's what I can use to get past you, so that works, I suppose. Back up here. To go two ways here? What is down here? The platform that goes up. But I want to go up, there's more stuff down here I want to get. Is this all just stuff? Where's this pipe gonna take me? It's taking you down here, right. I'm assuming this is probably the way to the secret exit or something. No, that's a platform down there. We gotta watch out. The one, the one thing that I can appreciate with this with, 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 with this hack at least is that is that a lot of times these jump there's these jumps where you have to just wait till the very last second. And then this bit. Like that I horribly missed time because I was supposed to run off the, the damn thing. Go up here? I can, but what's over here? Ah, just bonus things. Hard point in them. Yes, there is. Get that, bring it back to full. And now we just work way back up. Back up. And this will put me... I have no idea where they'll put me, but it's definitely put me in somewhere. Jump over. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, go. Ugh. Chickened out the last second there. Oh, okay, so you're a reskin of the other things, right? Just trying to figure out what the hell you were, and now I know. So that won't happen again. Now it's just a matter of trying to figure out what color. Because the case, that one's going to just be on fire because it's red, right? 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 No. Okay, so color doesn't, color doesn't really mean anything when it comes to how they operate. Let's just jump. Okay, this jump, which is fair enough. Right, so it's just a matter of, of just of just getting close to them, like always. Which is fair enough, I suppose. Just going this way. Up was probably much safer, but oh well. Too late for that now. You're gonna jump, because you would have spewed fireballs already. And now you're in lava. And that's... That bit... It's fair enough, I suppose. Alright. 
next bit is going to be the actual thing itself, Trouble Tower. Well, this is definitely going to be an adventure. I certainly can't wait. It's probably going to be a nice boss at the end of this. I'm hoping as much anyway. Better than the bosses on the Scorpion's route. We'll see. We'll find out. We'll find out. I have high hopes. I have really high hopes.